Today I want to talk to you about virtual textures in Unreal Engine, sort of what they are, why we have them, and how to avoid issues if and when they arise. And perhaps I'm going to start with the issue, because that's the thing that we're going to commonly encounter, and then how to avoid that. So I've got two objects in my scene here. One is a tabernacle model, which is rather complex, and it has udums. And another one is this little cross I've made here in Blender. It's extremely simple, and I've just added a new material here in Substance Painter and exported the textures into here and uh, these are these are them got some textures here for the cross and we've got some textures here for the tabernacle i've got a master material here for the tabernacle this is what it looks like it's extremely simple so it's just the maps plugged into the shader and that then goes onto the tabernacle i've also made myself a material instance here for the tabernacle in case i wanted to override something and i want to do the same thing for the cross so i'm going to go and just right click on the master material create a material instance of it i'm going to call that mi cross perhaps I'm going to double click into the cross and this is where I want to override my textures now and here's the issue that you may have come across as well I'm going to go and left click and drag my cross texture into here and it goes that doesn't work and you think hang on a minute it worked a moment ago with the tabernacle textures why does it not work anymore and this is where virtual textures come in another issue you might be facing is when you import assets from an asset pack into your project and the objects look totally different than what you would expect them to look and you think hey that's terrible that doesn't look like in the screenshots at all so like in my case it's this tabernacle here it's, it's a very flat object but it's got gold on the sides it's got this gold strip it's got a little bit of wood here and this is with virtual textures enabled because this object has udims but if i head over here to the project settings and i'll go and disable that just to show you this disable and then i'm gonna have to go and restart my editor let's have a look what the object looks like then yeah, not so good. So a lot of stuff that was there on my other version is all of a sudden no longer there. And it looks like the first tile is applied to every part of the object. And that is, of course, not what the creator had intended. So, yeah, especially trippy for newbies. If you import an asset pack, this is not what I had expected. So, yeah, virtual textures is probably the answer to the puzzle. So virtual textures is a way to increase performance inside Unreal Engine. And rather than MIP maps, which was the traditional way of and still is the traditional way of applying textures to models at runtime, they've got a different way of increasing performance under the hood. So mid maps means you have a full texture and then you resize that and then you resize that and you resize that even further. And all those resizable things go onto essentially the same texture, but it still means the whole thing has to be loaded into memory. And virtual textures means that doesn't have to happen. You can have a small crop out of the original texture and just display that and nothing else and nothing else needs to reside in memory. That's basically how that works. But under the hood, this means um, virtual textures is something that Unreal Engine needs to have enabled if your object has UDIMs. And in my case, my tabernacle has UDIMs and my cross does not. So if I go and open this texture up here for the tabernacle, if I double click that texture, you can see UDIMs here, one, two, three, four. If I open up my cross texture, you can see it, uh, it's only one tile. So that means if I import this into Unreal Engine, it doesn't enable virtual textures on it. So let's go and see where that is on this object. Here, I'm going to search for virtual texture streaming. There we go. This is not enabled. Whereas on this texture that had the UDIMs, if I type that in virtual texture streaming, it is enabled. So I can avoid this by just enabling virtual texture streaming on this texture. I'll do that. I'll go save it for good measure. I'll go back to my material instance. And then you can see that there's this little VT icon at the bottom. I can left click and drag that into here now. And my material instance instance accepts that. So if you ever encounter this issue and your project has virtual textures enabled and some of the textures that you want to use don't have that setting enabled, you can go and open them. Or if you have multiple like these here, I don't have to open them individually and then go and find that tick box to enable it. I can just go and select both of them, then right click, then head into asset actions here and then use the property matrix to edit multiple of these values at the same time so right click asset actions edit selection in property matrix and this comes up it's basically like a selection of multiple things that i had and you can either i've got it showing here so i can enable it here or you can just go and search for virtual texture streaming and enable that here and that enables it for all these textures so it's not quite as simple as that as as it often is with unreal engine so these can now 
also be applied to my instance. Let me just go and do that. That now has VT enabled. I'll go and drag that into here and drag that into here. And then I'll go and in fact, just enable that instance. And then I'll just go and add that to here. Now I've got my cross. So that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So um, virtual textures need to be enabled in your project as well. So by default, I think they aren't. But if you head over to project settings and then you search for virtual texture, you see a couple of options in mobile, enable virtual texture support on mobile that you don't have to worry about it. But this here, the first one, enable virtual texture support, I think is disabled by default. And if that is the case, that means you won't be able to use objects that have UDIMs in your project at all. So if you do use UDIM objects in your project, you have to enable this. Otherwise, Unreal Engine won't be able to apply those. And if you don't have them, then you can get away without it. But you might be in a situation like I am quite frequently where I have a mixture of some that are virtual and that are not. The other way around it, if you don't want to deal with this at all, you can just go and make yourself a new master material and just drag in the non-virtual texture enabled textures into that and then hook them up from there. You could have two master materials, one that supports virtual textures, one that doesn't. But it's since it's enabled in my project and since I need it for my project, I thought you know I'll let you know what that's all about. There's a little link in the description of this video that is uh, from the friendly folks at Epic that tell you a little bit more about virtual texture streaming is that basically two options. One is the runtime virtual textures, which is good for landscape. And the other one is the streaming virtual textures, which is more or less good for objects. And I think it's a vast performance increase if you keep those things enabled. And um, now you know why sometimes you have to enable or disable things if they're not already enabled. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.